Welcome to Galop Sport. Um, I'm here with uh, jockey Raphael Schistel. It's uh, Sunday morning. There's about four hours to Norwegian Derby Day starts. Um, Raphael, you wrote to me a couple of days ago and asked me if I would do an interview with you today about uh, this situation that has come up that I'm sure is not easy for you to talk about. And first of all, thank you for putting the vote of confidence in me and wanting to talk about it. Um, but let's start from the beginning. Um, June 29th, you handed in a doping test here at Uovot. Um About a week ago, a press release was issued that that had tested positive for use of substances that basically makes you go to the toilet. Um, I'm not going to try to pronounce the names of the, of the substances, but um, um, meaning that according to the rules of the uh, WADA uh, doping agency you were uh, suspended from riding until further notice until there was a court order um, about about that doping test doping death um, first of all um, what you tested positive for um, have you taken those um, substance were you aware that you took something yes uh I all, every year I take things to keep my weight down, you know, otherwise I'm not able to, to ride 58, 59. And uh, I was uh, got on full of the mid, and uh, the thing I have on the outside the box that I buy, it doesn't say it, that they have that substances, but uh, that is the fact that I took it, whether it was inside or not, or if I didn't know, or if I knew it. I, it's it's done. You cannot take back what is done. And I think it's important to to get to that when we're talking about a positive doping test. It's not what people normally um, expect from what they think a doping test is, because we're not talking about performance-enhancing drugs like we see in, in bicycling or, or the Olympics and stuff like that. What you took and what you knew you were taking was for weight management mm, and exactly. weight management only. Exactly. Um, so when did you get notice about this, um, about this, um, um, that you were not able to ride and how did you get notice? I, I, I got a call on a Monday, on a Monday morning, no actually Monday evening and uh, that from Thomas, from the guy in the, the head manager of the Obrevo, so it uh, it went very weird for me because uh, I was not expecting. Because when they don't call you uh, on the, the, the when you go into doping, like I've been many many every year I go at least one or two times, and if after two weeks three weeks they don't call you because everything is okay, and I was by far thought it was oh everything was nice and clean I could never have a, a guess on this situation right now I could give a guess that uh, I might not be able to ride today because I fall off during the week and broke a leg or something but never this so and I think as you say uh, doping for me is like when you use coke or something to make you provide better you do things faster you know you be better than you are you encourage yourself and uh, I don't need that I am pretty encouraging myself uh, with a clean body and uh, that was only to manage to do the weight that was all it was close to two months after you had uh, handed in that doping test that you got the information about and you got the the, the suspension did you get any information uh, about why you received this suspension at that time and why it had taken the time that it had before you got news no, that way I'm very much pissed off. There, I, I do believe there is something wrong. I don't know how and who. I don't want to mention names or, or blaming anybody for it. You know, I'm taking all the consequences. But uh, there is a lot of things that doesn't please me. With the starting with the date when it was took and when it come back to me. And then it's like test A and a test B. And uh, the test B was never done. So I think that's uh, pretty weird as well and then if you go I should be the first person to know and it was like already two three people know and then myself 
So, and then I was not even known by the doping people, I was known by Thomas, you know, and I was suspended by Thomas as well. So all these things, which it sounds for me just weird, you know, it, it, it doesn't please me at all, you know. Let's say if I take cocaine or for example, and I get done with it, it's just like, say sorry guys, sorry to my boss, sorry to everyone, but uh, I like it and I took it, but it's not, not that way. And just I'm not pleased the way this the whole situation been handled because on Monday tomorrow they could suspend me for six months for a year I even told them all the money I make on the derby day you can send it to Africa to the kids uh, that are starving or Syria or anywhere I just want to do my job that I've been paid for already and that I've been working two three four months to this day you know I haven't had a one good day this year in racing Perhaps today was my day, but unfortunately, let's say it's not for me. For some reason, it's not supposed to be. Obviously, we don't know exactly what the reason is for uh, why the, the press release got out and why the, you got the information when you got. Um, but obviously, you know, the timing could not have been worse for you with uh, a week to the derby. Um, you were supposed. You've been riding out for Nils Peterson, and you were supposed to ride his uh, horses uh, today. How did he respond to you not being able to ride and having been suspended? Nils, you know, is I'm his first jockey, and the, there is no secret that I always have a problem with my weight. I think since I born, I have problem with my weight for riding horse racing, and he knows me very well, and. I'm very glad the way he handled the situation, he supported all along, he tried to put it on the nice way to the owners or the way actually it is and uh, some owners took it nicely, some owners didn't, which is understandable. So, and Nils has been a, a great, great supporter and uh, it's, he don't want me to leave, it was my own, own uh, decision to leave and quit riding as I did now, it's, it's, it's the end of jockey life for me this you know is I cannot find motivation to keep riding on the sit on this circumstances today but I know that um, that you have stayed here in uh, in the stables during the week uh, to prepare the horses for for this day how has it been this week uh, riding out the horses and now with four hours to go knowing that you're not going going to complete the job it was Tough. This week been very very tough since Tuesday. You know, after grass got up, it's been very tough because I've been hearing so much stuff. I've been having so much weird look into me, like uh, I'm the only one here who makes a mistake or who does mistake. You know, and uh, like it was a lot of stones thrown on me during this time. But I did that to support my team as long as I could. You know, and uh, I don't want the horses to change them system because I'm riding them every day those horses today that running all so I, I, I ride them all every day and I told Nils I told him he didn't ask me or anything I say to him if you want I'm staying here I don't care who rides the horses and I'm staying here until Sunday I ride all the horses I do exactly how you want and on a Sunday we talk with your jockey I show him the tricks of the track what I know all the horses and then I take my plane and I'm leaving and I wish you the best luck ever and I mean it I today he's gonna rock all this place down you know he's gonna clean up at once again you've been privileged to be uh, to have been on some very good horses uh, and you've won derbies before you were supposed to be on privilegiado today who will undoubtedly be the, the favorite for the derby but you've won derbies before both in, in Denmark and in Norway I have a funny feeling that the biggest loss is to not be on the back of Square de Lune today, is that correct? Uh, yes, because the Square de Lune is a very special horse. I have one special horse before him, which is our last summer. If I think about uh, feeling, you know, uh, I have a lot of feelings for horses and our last summer I have a really big feeling for that horse. And then on when you come to good and bad or how good then you go you talk about Square de Lune. he's the best horse I've been sitting on I'm telling Nils all the time he's a group one horse on the on a heavy ground and uh, anywhere he can go to France Germany wherever he should take his chances which he will I believe soon 
and uh, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a big loss. But uh, a derby is a, it's the race to win, you know, it's a race you always want to win. And uh, it's, it's the only one is lost, actually, it's me, because uh, that's a fact you, everyone knows. But it's, it's, it is a big loss to not ride square. What happens now? Where are you going to go from now? I'm flying today to Miami and uh, I'm just trying to find some motivation to, to kick on somehow and, and, and see what's happened. And I have to start over again. I cannot just uh, like, uh, sit down and try or whatever and, and find somebody to, to blame or, or complain. I just have to start again somehow and, and prove people here things are things happening. And, uh, this is not the end of the world, you know? Rafael, um, a mistake is a mistake. Doping sentence is a doping sentence. But I'm sure I speak for a lot of people in Scandinavia when I say that we would love to see you back in Scandinavia riding whatever. I hope that um, everything goes well for you in the future. And I want to thank you very much mm. for taking the time. Thanks a lot. Thank you. And, and I just want to um, take this interview to say thank you very much for all my team all this year even if we haven't have a good year until now all the support all the, the girls the boys in stable one by one mariana vila mina uh, jabir dani nils uh, anyone and then all the support from the biggest owner we have to the smallest owner we have that's a it's have been an honor to be here and they know it but uh, about be back here that I will leave it to the future. It's uh, not nice to say I will never come back here because suddenly I'm here again and then I will look not good. But uh, I appreciate it and I just want to say thank you and sorry to not be able to ride today for my whole team and my owners.